Hey, well, before I can get the gauges reassembled, I gotta clean up this old rusty back plate piece here. And it's got a heavy amount of surface rust. And there's some areas where it's uh, starting to actually rot. But I don't think there's any holes going all the way through. So I think it'll clean up. But I'm not gonna sit here and do it with a wire wheel. That would be ridiculous. So I'm gonna soak it in this muriatic acid here, uh, which you can, if you've never done it, you can get that at any hardware store and it'll just pull all this rust right off of here. And I'll probably uh, soak it for maybe a half hour or so. And it'll take all that right off. So that's uh, it's probably the worst one I've ever seen actually. And uh, I'll show a picture here of the uh, inside of the car when I bought it. This was kind of flopped out and just exposed to the elements. And uh, the car sat since 1981. So that's pretty much why this thing looks so bad. But I'll get this thing cleaned up, get her soaking. I'm going to take it outside because this muriatic acid really stinks. And uh, I don't want to spill it on anything. So get this soaking, get it cleaned up, and then we'll get these gauges back together. I was going to use a paint pan, but I found this uh, old recycling bin. I think it'll work a little bit better. So, Whew. all right. Stinks so bad. You can see the, I don't know if you can see it, but it's steaming. Alrighty, let's get old Rusty in here. Oh, it just covers it. Perfect. Okay, Rusty, we'll see you in a little bit. Alright, we're going on about 10 minutes now. And uh, it's looking good. I can kind of see a little bit of metal through the old rust there. So, and you can see the acid starting to turn brown and rusty looking. So another 20 minutes or so, and it should look like brand new. And I'm hoping so, anyhow. So we'll check on it here in a little bit. Oh yeah, look at that bubbling there. Yeah, I better get it out now before it's totally gone. Ooh, look at that like brand new we got a little bit of rust right there let's see that might come off of there though looks pretty good on this side paint still on there actually that's crazy. Maybe I'll leave it in a little bit longer to get rid of that rust there. Okay, let's see if this is ready to go yet. Yeah, that looks awesome. Okay. Alrighty, well, I'm going to go uh, wash it off now with some soap and water. <coughs> oh, God. Oh, man, this stuff stinks. All right. And then I'll dump this back in the jug, and I can keep reusing this for quite a while. <coughs> so, alrighty. See if we can get it put in this bag here. Melt the bag. Well, I'll check out old Rusty now. Old Rusty is not so rusty. That muriatic acid works miracles. So that's actually a little bit of surface rust that's starting to form right there. 
that's just from it sitting out in the air right now because it's just bare metal so it's like you breathe on it and it starts to rust i've got these little circle sticker jobs on here to cover up the holes where the lights go in um and that's so that whenever i spritz this down with a little bit of rattle can uh, if i peel the sticker off there will be a little ring of bare metal so they'll have a good ground for my lights but it came out really nice so once I get a little bit of, I think I'll just use like a satin clear and I think that'll work out pretty good. Working on the fuel gauge here now and I'm gonna try and hook this all up. Let's see if uh, I get any kind of a reading on the fuel gauge here. So I wanted to test this little resistor piece that goes in here and it's supposed to read 90 ohms. So let's see where we're at here. So I've got 90 ohms there, so that's good. I'm gonna go ahead and put this piece in. All right, and then I'll get this hooked up and see if this thing works. Well, that's not good. I got no signal from my sending unit. So what I've got going on here so on the fuel gauge, you got your ground here. So I've got this wire running over to the ground. It has a red plug, but it's actually the ground. And then from the positive, I've got this wire running up that goes onto this terminal here. And the upper terminal, this is the input from the sending unit, which I have plugged into the plug here which goes to this uh, brown wire from the sending unit. So I got no signal from the sending unit, which is indicated by the fuel gauge being pegged out on the full side. So now I gotta figure out why I have no signal. So now I gotta trace it all the way back to the tank. But this is a brand new uh, sending unit so I'm not sure why that's not, why I don't have a signal. I'm going to have to check continuity on that wire all the way back to the tank. The sending unit should be fine. It's brand new. It's the uh, aftermarket Holly fuel tank uh, with the in-tank pump for the uh, Holly fuel injection kits. So that's brand new. There's no reason it shouldn't be working. So I'll investigate that now. Well, I have no idea what's wrong with my sending unit, so I'm moving on. Working on the temperature sensor here, or temperature thingamajigger. What do you call it? Temperature gauge. So here's what we got going on for this. I've got uh, on this top prong here, this is the wire going to the temperature sensor. And then we got ground in the center, which I just have running over here to the battery. And then 12 volts come in here and on this uh, lower pin. And uh, we'll see what's going to happen here. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this over. I got a little uh, propane heater running right now. It's kind of cold in the garage. And I'm just going to dangle this thing in front of the heater real quick, just kind of heat it up a little bit. Let's see if that does anything. All right. So, this might be kind of ridiculous, but it might do something. Okay, let's see how that is. That's oh, still cold. Okay, that should be good enough to test it out. Get this set up on here. Okay, I don't have the battery hooked in yet. So let's see what happens when I hook up the battery here. Hopefully no fire and sparks. Come on, you turd. Well, heating it with the propane didn't seem to work too much, but I got a pot of boiling water here now in the car. 
and uh, still not moving very much, but it did move up when I hooked it up. So I'm just gonna assume that means it's working. But I don't know, it won't come up over about 100. However, if I bump it, it comes back to its spot. And if I disconnect the battery and I move it up and then plug it back in, it comes back quite quickly like that. So maybe it's working. I don't know. I'm just going to call it good. I hope that, uh, hope that it's working. I don't know. I have no idea. Not much else I can do with it. So I'm going to move on to the next gauge which I guess will be the battery gauge. See if we can get that one working. Okay, so at this point, uh, I think maybe the water temp is working. I think the oil pressure is good. The fuel gauge is moving when I hook it up. It's pegging out at full, uh, you know, which is an indication that the sending unit's not working. So I'll work on the sending unit later. Uh, still halfway in the, pro in the process of fixing the clock. So now it's just the battery gauge here. So what we're going to do, um, there's this little battery test you can do to check the battery amp gauge. So just using a little uh, AAA, AA battery, going to hook one of each end of the battery up to this battery gauge, the two terminals in the back, and just touching these, making this connection here should make the needle fluctuate one way or the other. So we'll go ahead and do this. There it goes. And if we reverse the polarity, it should fluctuate the other way. So let's try this here. And there it goes. It's going the other way. So I don't know. I guess that means it works. At least it's moving anyway. So I'm going to throw it in the car and just hope for the best. So I still got to get back to this clock here. And uh, but I was waiting for the super glue to dry. So now I'll get back on the clock and get this thing assembled. Well, I got this uh, plastic piece here that I busted. I got it glued back together and I glued the solenoid in there and then also soldered that wire back on down there. So I kind of just have it stuck back together here. So let's go ahead and see if this thing works. I kicked open. Is it running? Yeah, it looks like it's running. I can see his little wheel spinning down there. So we'll just see if that hooked up, see what happens here. Looks like it's about to close now. There it goes. Hey, it's working. All right, cool. And after many hours of messing around and fumbling over little bits and pieces and parts, and I think I have a completed gauge cluster here. A little bit more of a pain in the neck than it should have been. But it came out all right. I'm hoping at least most of the gauges work. The only one I know for sure is working is the clock, and that was the one that I didn't think I was going to get working. So I guess that's kind of a bonus. Uh, well, anyway, now I'm going to go ahead and put it into my, uh, whatever you call it here, the bezel, and get that put in the car, and we'll see how that goes. Okay, well, I guess that'll do. It's not correct for a 69, but I don't care anymore. I just want to get it in there. So now i got to get this thing put in. And uh, what I gotta do is up here, the edges are hitting. So I'm gonna, 
take my Dremel and just buzz the edge of that off so that it fits in there. Oh, look at that rat's nest. Well, I guess I'll get this carpet in, put these uh, center console pieces in here and a shift console and get that rat's nest all cleaned up. And then I can put this thing in. Yeah, it doesn't look half bad. Looks brand new, minus the uh, little bit of aluminum pitting there. I should have sanded that down and cleaned it up a little better. Maybe for another day. But it looks good enough for now. I just want to get this thing in, kind of get everything working. And then I can work on some of the smaller detail stuff later. But anyway, I think I'm going to end this one here. Pick up the next video with uh, getting this thing installed. So, as usual, uh, hopefully this helps somebody out along the way. And uh, like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think of it. And we'll see you in the next video.